Today we're going to be looking at A-Frame Desktop and some of the amazingly simple and powerful ways you can use it to speed up your workflow. This is the A-Frame Desktop interface. On the left hand side we have all of the different local folders the app is currently watching. On the right hand side we have all of the different target projects on A-Frame the app is configured to deliver media to. If I add a file to one of the folders on the left hand side it automatically gets delivered to the project on the right hand side. With this in mind, let's switch to Adobe Premiere Pro, where I'm currently working on an edit for a client. I've configured my output folder to be one of the watched folders that A-Frame Desktop automatically uploads from. So when I click Export in Premiere Pro, the sequence is rendered, and once the file is delivered into the folder, A-Frame Desktop immediately gets to work uploading the file into the project. Once it's in the project, a web viewable copy will be made so that the rest of the team can add timecode based comments or other collaborative feedback. So that's simple delivery for the editor, but what about the reviewer who often needs to take this content offline? Using A-Frame Desktop you can create a very simple mapping between a project on A-Frame and your iTunes folder for your iPad or iPhone. As you can see here in A-Frame Desktop, I've created a link between my favourites collection and the automatically add to iTunes folder on my local machine. In the settings for this connection, I've configured the app to bring down the H.264 proxy media for any clip that I add to the collection, so that I know it will work with my iPad or iPhone. Simply add the clip to the collection on A-Frame, and in the background, A-Frame Desktop will get to work on bringing the file down into the mapped folder and bringing it into my iTunes, where I can sync it with my iPhone or iPad. Another extremely simple, yet extremely powerful workflow that can be enabled via the desktop app revolves around transcode in the cloud. Here, I've set up a workflow with the starting point of an upload connection that maps the transcode out folder to a project on A-Frame. On my desktop, I have a file that I need to transcode into the DNX145 standard for it to work in my edit. I drop it into the transcode out folder, and the A-Frame desktop app begins uploading it into the project. This project has a rule set that any incoming media should be transcoded to the DNX145 standard. As soon as the transcode has completed processing, I've configured the desktop app to pull down the resultant file and deposit it in a directory of my choosing locally, so that I now have the file I need in the format I require, all without having to do any extra work on my part. These are just some of the ways that the A-Frame desktop app can be used to drive efficiencies in your workflow. To download the app today, simply log into your A-Frame account and click on the link in the footer of the page. Thank you.